US Navy are testing gas rebreathers. The US Navy have started to test a new rebreather, the Mark 29 mixed gas rebreather to be more precise. This new rebreather has been designed to conserve helium but during deep sea dives below 52 meters. So just in case you don't know, a rebreather uses a chemical scrubber to withdraw carbon dioxide from exhaled air and then return it back to the diver. So what makes the Mark 29 different from other rebreathers? Well, conventional rebreathers use a mixture of air and nitrogen just like standard scuba gear, but this mix is only good till around 46 meters. Then the mixture starts to become dangerous. So the new rebreather replaces the nitrogen with helium and air, which is a mixture that tech divers use. Now, as I'm sure you all know, helium carries off heat six times the rate of air. So the diver has to wear a heating apparatus or they'll freeze to death. This is where the Mark 29 comes in. It reduces the bulk and the cost for the diver. In fact, early tests have proven that the Mark 29 decreases helium requirements by 80% at deep sea levels. Also, the 3D printed titanium tubing re also reduced breathing noise, created zero bubbles and has less fogging, which is always nice. The Navy are testing the Mark 29 all year with different scenarios in deep water, so we won't be seeing it on shop floors anytime soon. What are your thoughts on the Mark 29? Is this the future of the rebreather and maybe scuba diving? Let's discuss in the comments. If you're watching this on Twitter, want to give us a like and a retweet. And to our awesome YouTube family, don't forget to like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and happy diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.